माय सेल्फ इज राजीव रंजन एंड आई एम वर्किंग इन पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवीजन इसरो सैटेलाइट सेंटर सो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ लो ड्रॉप रेगुलेटर एंड दैट रिक्वायर वेरी लो वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटर ऑलमोस्ट कैपेसिटर लेस सो सो दिस इज लाइक कन्वेंशनल लो ड्रॉप रेगुलेटर इज देयर दे आर लाइक वी हैव अ पास ट्रांजिस्टर टू कंट्रोल करेंट एक रॉस डैट कैपेसिटर टू मेंटेन कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज देन वी हैव अ सेंसिंग आर वन एंड आर टू एंड वन एरर एम्पलीफायर वी आर यूजिंग फॉर कंट्रोल कंट्रोलिंग द करेंट एक रॉस दिस पास ट्रांजिस्टर सो दिस आर द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टॉपोलॉजी वी हैव यूज फॉर एल डी ओ फर्स्ट वी कैन सी एन पी एंड डार्लिंगटन देर प्रॉब्लम इज देर इट हैज़ अ वेरी लो ड्रॉपर्ट वोल्टेज यू कैन सी वीडियो इज इज टू वी बी प्लस वी सेट so it is good for uh, low current application because here bias current requirement will be very less compared with uh, other uh, kind of topology but dropout is very high so if we are going to use this one for very high current application so lots of power dissipation will come second is like a quasi ldo there uh, one transistor we have removed and uh, this is a better than uh, npn darlington because their dropout is lesser than this one but bias current will again increase third we have a pnp base here bias current will be maximum but it has a minimum uh, dropout voltage you can see saturation voltage of this pnp transistor will act like a dropout voltage then again we have a pfet based uh, uh, ldo there also bias current will be very less and uh, dropout is also very less like i, lo I load into r on but problem is there for any power mosfet we have a bgs requirement is minimum 3 to 4 volt so minimum voltage we have to keep at around 5 volts and if we required output voltage say 1.25 volt then again drop out voltage will become very huge then again power dissipation will come so we have chosen this pnp based uh, this topology for uh, high current requirement so this is just just uh, for explanation how ldo is working it is nothing but uh, one pass register is there that pass register value can change depending on your change in input voltage or change in load resistance so if uh, input voltage is changing then register pass element uh, register will change and it will change in such a way that voltage across r load will be constant similarly if r, r load resistance is changing because of different current requirement then again r pass will change in such a way that output voltage will be constant so this is just simple explanation for like how ldo is working so these are the different uh, elements involved in a uh, low dropout regulator we have a pass element then we have sampler is there error amplifier is there for controlling the loop and then voltage reference for selecting the output voltage so what problem we have with the existing uh, conventional radio that it requires very huge capacitor and uh, esr is also required to like for control purpose that i will uh, explain you in later slide so because of huge current uh, huge capacitor requirement on both input and output uh, and uh, ldo is coming on the output of uh, converters so what will happen any time when we are switching on our converters it will go in current limit because of huge surge current drawn by this uh, huge capacitors so that one problem we are facing and uh, esr of that capacitor will play role in uh, designing the compensation for uh, this ldo so you can see this is like a body plot of uh, conventional ldo we have a one pole pl that is coming because of error ampli amplifier internal compensation gain bandwidth product then p1 is coming because of uh, our huge capacitor and load resistance then this zero is coming uh, because of esr and capacitor and p pwr is coming because of uh, high frequency capacitor pr putting across sensitive ic and all so that will inject one extra pole so if we see if zero is not there our phase margin is almost zero and it can oscillate at particular whenever it's crossing zero db so we are providing the zero with that esr because of that we have a phase margin of 70 degree and it will not oscillate so this is like architecture of conventional ldo so what problem we will face if we are going with uh, esr based compensation uh, so what happen uh, tantalum capacitor uh, electrolytic capacitor is available with a high esr and that esr value itself will depend on temperature and all so if you are we want to use uh, this kind of ldo for a space application it will be very bad idea because uh, temperature variation there is from minus 40 to 65 degrees celsius and esr will not be in our control so it will it can oscillate at particular temperature then high esr because of high esr if you are going for low transient there will be a huge voltage drop will come across uh, output so if you are giving this output to some fpg or some sensitive ic then always drop will come there that will again uh, reflect in performance of that particular ic 
and if yes and if we are planning to use ceramic uh, capacitor which has a very low ESR then again we have issue in compensation so here we can see like if ESR is very high then what will happen that zero whatever was there in a towards higher frequency side it will shift towards lower frequency it will increase your bandwidth because of that what happened whatever high frequency uh, capacitors we have put that pole go towards uh, more than zero dB so because of that again 180 degree phase it will go and it will result in oscillation at that particular frequency if we have a very low ESR then again that whatever zero is coming that will come below zero dB so again oscillation will come at uh, some hundred k frequency whenever it's cross crossing that zero dB so we have to remove this particular uh, uh, things uh, like independent of ESR independent or capacitor it should work and it should be uh, stable so for like this is a drawback of our ESR when we are going for loop compensation ESR of capacitor cannot be properly as specified by manufacturer then dependency or temperature and frequency that is very critical because it will connected to a, a switching converters some converter will operate at 100 kilohertz some 200 some 500 again again we cannot uh, design LDO for different different application temperature wise also we have to take care then it will result in very 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 poor transient response because of that again we have to put very huge capacitor to uh, hold that particular output voltage and then bypass capacitor also adding on extra port and that we cannot avoid because high frequency capacitors are available uh, like we have to use for uh, removing high frequency noise to sensitive IC so we have designed uh, one proposed design we have given like we should remove uh, one pole from error amplifier we, we should remove error amplifier from control loop so that uh, uh, that whatever extra pole is coming because of error amplifier it will go off then that design we have done so closed loop control loop we have changed all the things and now ideally it can work at no low no capacitor also but because of we have to limit bandwidth otherwise uh, it will result in very high gain at higher frequency so again it will be noisy at very very higher frequency so we have to limit the gain so we have to use some small capacitor depending on our requirement and uh, since our response will be very fast because of high bandwidth so their very huge capacitor is not required like con uh, conventional LDO is there then uh, temperature okay then capacitor also we can plan with a ceramic capacitor that has a very low ESR and it will be almost independent on temperature and frequency so that depends on dependency or temperature also go off so this is our proposed design here uh, there is no error amplifier nothing is there so here if you see this is a PNP based transistor that earlier topology I have told and uh, there we have used two NPN transistor to drive uh, this uh, particular uh, power uh, P, uh, power PNP transistor so here is like a sampling is a similar way then we have a transistor so if you see there is a change in any voltage here it will result in change in IV1 there so that will be like this factor will come and this is a constant current so any change in IB1 result in change uh, current across this Q1 so it will change the uh, current in IB2 that will be like I2 minus B1 delta IB1 so here you can in, you can see a negative uh, sign has come so that is like a negative feedback it is working so delta IB2 change will result in delta IC2 change and this will result in delta IC change so finally if you see delta IC will be beta 3 beta 2 into I2 minus this factor will come so here you can say uh, change in IC current will be depending on depend on negative uh, of change in output voltage so it is working like a negative feedback so this is working like a transconductance feedback control so we have a GM of delta IC by V0 V gain delta IC into that parallel impedance of this particular will come C0 into R load so output voltage will be C, uh, V gain will be delta IC into RAC divided by V0 RAC is nothing but R load parallel with 1 by SC so it will be like this way so to overall gain of the system will be uh, beta 3 beta 2 beta 1 R load divided by this particular factor so body plot if we are drawing the ABLC, it will have a very huge uh, bandwidth and this one we have taken for like 2.5 volt output voltage R1 R2 47R C0 1 microfarad we have put if we want to reduce the gain of this particular system so that like uh, we have a noise common mode noise of some 1 megahertz or 10 megahertz we want to reduce the gain at particular portion then we have to increase the capacitor so again it depends on our requirement at like what frequency our noise is there depending on dot only uh, depending on that only we have to shift this particular pole towards the left side 
so this is a, like a simulation and a hardware result also we have it's a simulation we have carried out in uh, pspice so we have seen uh, both results are almost matching uh, transition we have given from zero current to 2.5 ampere and we have seen less than 7 to 8 millivolt uh, uh, steady state changes there and this overshoot and undershoot nothing, nothing is coming because it has a very fast uh, transient response then again uh, this is the same thing we have done for 5 volt output from no load to 2.5 and 2.5 to no load condition similar kind of thing has come so this is a testing result dropout we have seen maximum of less than 0.4 volt is coming for 3 ampere current and voltage you can see like depending on input voltage change hardly some 1 to 2 millivolt change is there and depending on your load current hardly less than 10 millivolt change is there this is the hmc version we have hybridized the circuit in hmc form size is like uh, less than some uh, 15 uh, mm cross 10 mm and this package we have used to put this package inside this one so this is like 5 pin uh, LDO we have made so these are the features just i uh, I have given like output can it can work up to 3 ampere and uh, input voltage we can give whatever output requirement is there plus 2.5 volt output anywhere you can make 1.25 to maximum V input minus 0.4 that is nothing but dropout voltage power you can dissipate around 7.5 watt and it can work for minus 40 to 65 degrees Celsius it has also internal protection of current limit and uh, shutdown provision also given <coughs> These are the specification. Line regulation is less than plus minus 0.05 percent. Then load regulation also same way. Current limit we have fixed to 3.5 ampere. And uh, in case of shutdown voltage, we are giving output voltage cannot be uh, go above 0.1 volt. This is a package we have used for that LDO, and this is the references we have used. Thank you. Are <laughs> the so, uh, so theoretically, are there any reasons why it can become unstable? Theoretically, you know, yeah, that bandwidth is there. Okay. This one, suppose uh, ESR I neglected here, mm -hmm. because suppose uh, we don't want to depend on ESR value, so we'll use suppose ceramic capacitor. Then what will happen? It will go and cut here zero dB. Mm -hmm. That time, our but uh, this phase will go to 180 degree. So whenever zero dB cross is there and 180 degree phase will be there, it will oscillate because it will become uh, again become infinity and because of that oscillation will come in closed loop. So because of that, we have to put ESR. But ESR again, it depend on temperature and all. So again, it will be bad for us actually. But so how are you mitigating that? Uh, we are uh, this particular pole is there that is coming because of error amplifier that we are not using. Now it's like transistor based, so this one will be neglected, so 180 degree cannot come actually, okay. so it will be 90 degree. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, last question, so has this gone into any uh, spacecraft here? It's in uh, like CTQ model is making, it's a HMC version, so okay. directly we cannot fly, okay. at least it will take two years, so make CTQ model, then flight model, okay. Okay. but that process is going on. Okay. okay, so is that like a qualification process? Qualification process. Okay. QM we are telling for SMT is the HMC, so it's the TQ uh, process is there. Thank you. There are questions you can always follow to the lunch. Thanks a lot for the uh, papers. I think Thank we are you. at the end of the session.